everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. Today we of course are continuing the panning journey, this time with This Is Fantasy update number three already. So, oh, so exciting and there is so much to talk about, so much progress made, so many goals met, so many new things rolling into this project. So without further ado, let's just dive right on into it. And we're going to start us off today with of course this guy here. For the prompt of the Cyclops, I had my single eyeshadow. This, of course, is my cover girl in Champagne. I use it as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. And, of course, you will see where we have been. And the goal with this is simply to use it. And I do use it. I do use it basically every day. Um, but I don't use a lot of it at a time because it is more of a highlighting shade. I am wearing it today, brow bone and inner corner. And where we're at now, and I'll have a picture up for you guys so you can see it a little bit better, but that is our progress. So for this particular month, I've been working down this way a little bit and also trying in here to get a bit more of like a slope going down, but I'm kind of running out of space here that I've already kind of previously worked on. So I imagine at this point, it's going to be a little bit more slow going for this particular eyeshadow. Because yeah, especially as I'm looking this way in the pan, Right. There is some use in there, but definitely nowhere near as much as what I had going down this way. I'm not tracking usage for this particular eyeshadow because, again, I do use it once or twice every day. You know, touch it up a little bit, making progress on it, and we'll still have it, I'm sure, for the finale. Second of all, of course, is a long haul item. This is my Tom Ford lipstick. Uh, just a little mini size that came in the Sephora Favorites kit. Of course, you'll kind of see the kind of lines of progress. My goal is to finish it, and we are getting really, really close on it. Right, so you guys can see. So close, and yet so far. So progress lines, of course, you'll see it. I'm making decent progress on it, which I'm pleased about. But it's still gonna be here for a while. This, of course, was for the prompt the vampire, right? A blood red item, which, you know, red lipstick. Um, it looks more red here in the tube. Um, on the lips, it does look a little bit more like an orangey red. So making progress on this slowly but steadily. I imagine it's still gonna be a couple more months, but you can see there just how much progress I've already been able to make. But it's still going to be hanging for a little while. For the prompt of the werewolf, so a celestial themed item, this is another one that I had rolled in in the introduction. This is my Ditto Venus palette. Now, when I started this project, this was before I did my eyeshadow usage project pan where I roll in eyeshadow colors randomly from my collection and try to use them 10 times. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you check that out. I have a playlist for that. Um, so this originally had a goal of 25 uses and that just meant in the palette. Um, so I tend to use my palettes holistically, meaning if I'm using this palette today, that's pretty much the main thing I'm doing, with the exception, of course, of adding that single shadow in as my highlighting kind of shade. Last month, I had 18 uses on it, which means I had to use it an additional seven times, which I have now done for this particular month. I did reach it for those seven times, bringing us to that grand total of 25 uses. And guys, there is something so exciting in here. Like, this doesn't really happen for me, but you see it? I hit pan uh, right here. Uh, so this is the shade Phoebus. Uh, this is pretty much the only crease color in this palette. Uh, definitely on the warmer side, kind of looks a little orangey brown. But look at the size of that pan. Um, so I hit that pan on my sixth use, and then I expanded it slightly with my seventh and final use. But I have pan in an eyeshadow palette. Oh, I'm so excited. This really doesn't happen. Um, I want more of this to happen, but, oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, so you can kind of see, kind of give you that sense of that shadow in particular, but also the other ones. So other ones I've used a lot, of course. I use Mercury here to set my eyeshadow primer. I would use one of these two dark shades to darken and deepen the outer corner a little bit. Those are probably where I got the most use from. And then, of course, I did, everything's been played with in this particular palette. So I did have the 25 uses. So I've done like a gold look. I've done the red look. I've done this all over the lid, which is gorgeous. Love this nice, shimmery 
color here, right? Very sparkly, metallic. Oh, I do enjoy this palette. I do wish there were some other kind of crease colors in here, but I do have other palettes that if I really wanted to, I could dip into those instead. This has been it since the intro, and it is finally leaving the project since I do have my 25 uses on it. So very, very exciting. I have a bittersweet moment, but they hit pen and I am so thrilled. Next up for the prompt of the dragon. So the dragon, of course, being a product that there's a lot in there. And for me, I had rolled in my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. And I put it in for a total of 50 uses. Last month, I was at a total of 23 uses. And I've used it since my last update a total of 28 times. Which actually brings my total to 51. Because I didn't want to wear that bronzer today for us. So it is on today. Of course, you'll see where we were. And again, I wasn't expecting anything crazy with this particular item. But this is where we are now. So on this side, you can see that pattern's really been worn down. I do try to wear my products down fairly evenly. So I've been trying to focus, especially my big fluffy brush, over on this side. Um... I don't think it's working very well, but yeah, progress is progress. Nowhere close to hitting pan, I am sure, but oh, I do enjoy this product. I like wearing it. I like the smell of it. Mm. It's just a great product. So I am a little bit sad that it is leaving this project, but a little spoiler. If you enjoy the Butter Bronzer, make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, because you will be seeing this roll into another project fairly soon. I had two items that I had rolled in for my last update. And the first one, of course, was for the Witch or Wizard, and that was kind of like a magical themed item. And so I had decided to roll in uh, my Perfect Pout Liquid Lipstick from Ace Beauté. This is in the shade Manifest into the project. And I just had the goal to use it 20 times. And surprisingly, I've already done that. Um, I did already get my 20 uses out of this particular lip color. And part of the reason why, right, it's a very nice formula, it's very hydrating, very smooth, but it is not long lasting, which meant that I could reapply it quite often. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of this particular color. I do feel like it kind of washed me out a little bit. But if I paired it with, um, for example, a much more vibrant, kind of um, got an essence lip liner. Uh, it's kind of like a hot berry pink kind of mixed color there. Kind of fall vibes, but also very vibrant. If I put that down first and this over top, long lasting color, and then they help to balance each other out. So great usage on this. I did get my 20 uses. And I'm thinking I might roll this in at some point into my lip service project pan, which of course is a fantastic ladies collab, which is focuses on using up lip products. And the reason why I'm thinking I might do that at some point this year, is like, look at that. This was a brand new item when I rolled it in. And like, you can see all of that windowing in there. Like, I'm seeing visible progress already. Now, of course, nice, very long applicator. That was a little bit of a learning curve to get used to it. But, like, let's see if, like, you can see, like, look how far down I can get those windows to kind of occur. So, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know when I'm going to roll this in to that project, but I think I will. Um, I still won't mark the item because, you know, it's so pretty. And again, as I discussed in my last update when I rolled it in, it gave me kind of phylactery vibes or fancy magic potion vibes. So gorgeous. I like it. Not the best color. But the formula is wonderful. And I found a way that I really enjoy wearing it. But for now, Manifest is leaving this project. And the last item that I had rolled into this particular project for my last update was another eyeshadow palette. Uh, this one, of course, is the Mercury Retrograde for the Hue of Beauty. I had rolled in the prompt of the Basilisk, and the Basilisk was associated with a dark matte shadow. So this is the palette here. I opted to fill the Basilisk prompt with this shadow here in Vortex, kind of like a dark plummy purple gorgeousness and I have been loving 
playing with this palette. I enjoy it. I enjoy the shadows. I enjoy the formula, the colors, um, the wearability, the pigment in here. And with Vortex being rolled in, that meant I can play with absolutely everything. So I can go colorful. I can go more um, natural tones. Like today, for example, I've got Crush in my crease. I've got Vortex in the outer corner. You can see that shadow there. And then I went in with Frazzled all over the lid. And that's what you're seeing. Oh my goodness, there. So I have been loving reaching for this palette. Um, since it's been rolled into this project, I have used Vortex and the palette as a whole by extension four out of my goal of 10 times. So I have six uses left, which I am going to thoroughly enjoy using. So these are the three items that I've been able to roll out because I did meet my goals, right? So 25 uses, 50 uses, and 20 uses, which means we can roll in three new prompts and three new items and keep this nice and exciting for you guys. So with the help of my Tiny Decisions app, of course, randomized three new prompts and three new items to come into the collection. So the first prompt that got rolled in was for the Leprechaun. And the Leprechaun is an item that you think you'll have good luck with. And for those of you who have caught my Partners in Cream project, you know I've been working on some cream blushes this year. Um, the first one I had rolled out was a pink one. The one I'm currently working on is a pink one. And I do top with a powder blush on top, which is, of course, the combo I've got going on today. And so I wanted to bring in a powdered pink blush to go with the cream blush I have in my other project. And so I decided for one that I do enjoy using, but I don't reach for enough. And it is, of course, a classic. So it's NARS. I don't even have to tell you what shade it is because of course it is orgasm. I had picked this up in a BoxyCharm shop. Um, at, what was it last June or the June before where they made the big announcement that the shade was for the first time coming into like the Boxy Lux. And it was, whoops. And then it was such a big deal, and then they had it in the pop-up, and I bought just this. This was the only thing I bought in the pop-up, but I bought it because I wanted to understand this product and the hype with it and why everyone loves it so much, and I do enjoy it. So you guys can see I do have some use on there. You can kind of see it on those sides a little bit more. And my goal for this one, like the Butter Bronzer, is going to be to use it 50 times to then roll it out. I think with a blush, and especially with how I've seen other people pan NARS blushes in the past, I think 50 uses is going to get some pretty substantial use on here. It is a color that's going to be great for the summer. Well, spring and summer. We're still very much kind of wintry, so we're getting towards spring. Just very, very slowly up here in Canada. But this is going to be my Leprechaun item, 50 uses, and then we'll be able to roll it out. The second prompt that I rolled in was for the troll. And the troll, of course, is associated with ugly packaging, right? Not very appealing. And I've got something a little bit different that I'm going to be rolling into the project. So, so far, I have been doing all makeup in this project with a lot of usage goals, or at least I'm trying to do more usage goals because keep things moving, keep it fun. And of course, it does end in October. But with ugly packaging as the prompts, I am the type of person where if it doesn't look pretty and the packaging isn't appealing, I'm not going to buy the item. Right? I do want the full experience. Right? The product's got to be good. It's got to work well. Coloring's great. Packaging's fantastic. It's a great experience to use. I want it all. So what I have chosen is actually going to fit within the skincare category. And this came from one of the Sephora kits. This is the Grown Alchemist. This is their balancing toner. And I have not used this before. And of course, if you look, it's not like it's ugly packaging, but it's kind of boring, kind of medicinal looking, right? It's got, it looks kind of black on the camera, but it, it's a dark brown. So, yeah, not the most aesthetically pleasing product is how I'm interpreting ugly packaging. I have not used this item before, but when I shine my light in, this is where it is filled too. So 
If you have caught my Skin is In Project pan, which is another Fantastic Ladies collab, um, you will know I have a toner in that particular project as well. So what I imagine is going to happen is I'm just going to split between the two. So probably I'll pick one to use in the morning, one to use at night, and kind of go from there. Now, my husband has been helping me with a toner in my Skin is In Project pan, and because of that, I've been able to make such amazing progress on that toner. Maybe he'll help me with this one. Maybe I'll do this one all on my own. Time will tell, um, but we'll see. So progress on this may be on the slower side or it might be very fast. We'll find out for the next update, get a sense of the progress. But yeah, my first skincare item in this project, we are starting here and the goal, because it is skincare, um, once I open it, I want to finish it. We do have one fluid ounce in this particular sample size last prompt that I had rolled in was the Goblin. And the Goblin is there to represent a product that's going to give you trouble. And um, I definitely have that item in mind. It is what I'm wearing on my lips right now with a gloss over top. And that is this guy. So this comes from NYX. This is their professional shape loud fashion darlings matte lip duo. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, so we've got kind of what's supposed to be a liner on one side and a crayon on the other. Now, I had bought this on Clear Out from Shoppers Drug Mart a fairly long time ago. And I don't know what was going on in my brain that day. Because like, oh, it's a liner and a crayon side. I thought this was an eyeshadow. Clearly, I did not look very closely where it clearly says lip right there lip. Um, so brown, not what I prefer to have on my lips, but story aside, why do I think this product is going to give me trouble? So this is the crayon. As you guys can see, totally fine. Um, it's a crayon, but the problem is sharpening because I don't really have a sharpener that fits this item and you will see it on the liner side. Like look how beat up that is. And you can even see here, like you see those markings? That's from me like a couple nights ago trying to get this side sharpened so that I could actually use it and put it in this project. So, I may be able to use this or I may not. So let's talk about the goal. Ideally, if I'm able to somehow make my sharpener work for both sides of this item or even one side of this item, the goal is going to be to use it 20 times and then I'll roll it out because that's kind of consistent with my lip products, but you can reapply them. And again, I don't want to take away too much from my lip service project pan. So goal is 20 times. But the caveat on that is, especially on this side over here, right, if I cannot get this sharpened, obviously I won't be able to use it. So especially on this other side on the crayon, right, until it's flat with the wood, which won't take too many uses. Um, and then this will be featured in a declutter video. I have done one declutter video in the past, so feel free to check it out. But generally I try not to declutter a whole lot because, you know, I bought it. I'm want to use the product, don't want to be wasteful. But if I can't sharpen this, then I can't use it anyway. And it's just, it's either a waste sitting in my collection not being used or it's waste in the garbage bin, right? So that is my trouble product for the Goblin. And I'll let you guys know next month whether I'm rolling out because I finished it or reach the goal on it, or I'm rolling it out because that's as far as I can get with the tools I have, and it's just gonna get decluttered. So three new items joining this particular project. It was so very exciting. So let's take a moment and talk about some goals. Obviously, I'm gonna be progressing on all of these particular items. I'll continue to track my usage on them, but there are two items that I do see being able to be rolled out next month so I can roll new stuff in. The first one I've already literally just finished talking about it is this lip product, the lip duo here. Again, whether I get my 20 uses on it, I'll just plow it out in a month, ideally. Or if I am forced to declutter it, right, I'll just use it as much as I am able to. And then let you know next month I'm decluttering it. So it depends on 
which way it goes if I'm able to sharpen either side of this product and that will be goal number one. This is goal number two. I only have six more uses for this particular item. Right, we're in right a great time for spring right now with it being April to use this. And I'm just, oh, I just really, really enjoy these colors, right? I like this color story a lot. Like, and even these more vibrant colors, like I can still use them, right? So I'm, mm. I'm just excited. I'll be sad to have this rolled out because I do really, 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 really like this palette. And especially with Vortex being what's officially in this project, that just makes it so easy to use this palette. I can do anything. That is going to wrap up today's video. So again, to recap, we have three items that I met goal on, three items that joined this particular project, and of course, goal set for two items to be leaving this project next month. So let's see how I do. Of course, subscribe so you don't miss the update. Of course, these do go up every month for the 11th. And we're counting down, getting towards that finale in October. So again, I'm keeping that in mind. Like I still have lots of time before the finale comes in, but especially with what I want to roll in and what the prompts are and what I still have that I want to finish in this product or in this project, I should say, right? It's like that Tom Ford lipstick. It is very much top of my mind because it's, it's lingering a little bit, but that's where we'll leave it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.